Hi ladies, so the do's and don'ts about highlighting and contouring. Uh, first off, you do always want to use a primer. You must apply this. This is going to give you a barrier between your skin and the makeup and it's going to hold that makeup there to its true color for the remainder of the day. And you don't want to use the wrong color concealer. Don't go too light and don't go too dark. And don't use the same shade as your uh, foundation. You want to use it as a highlighter. So right now I'm going to use Scarlet, which is a shade lighter. And you always want to use the right tools. Here I'm gonna use a blending bud. Don't skip the powder to set your concealer, otherwise it's going to make it very difficult to blend uh, your contouring in later. Here, I'm going to use our concealing powder. This is in Fresh, it's our lightest. I'm just gonna tap a little into the lid and use my Deluxe brush. Do find the natural um, structure of your cheekbone. And how to do that is you're gonna take a line from the top of your ear down to the corner of your mouth. And that is gonna be the area that you're going to use your bronzer in in order to create the structure. Now I'm gonna use our Beachfront Bronzer in Sunset. This is the lightest shade of bronzer that we have. And it has a shimmer side and a matte side. You do wanna use the matte side to do the uh, structuring part of your contouring, which will give you a more natural looking. You also want to make sure you do not use a brush that's too big for your face. I'm using the blusher brush here, which is an angled brush, and it's very small, and it's going to fit straight into that line very nicely. You do want to blend up as you're doing this to create a more natural look. You're also going to use that contour around your hairline. want to apply bronzer straight across your forehead. You do want to go down the outside bridge of your nose in order to narrow that nose in. And again, you must use the right size brush for this, otherwise it's going to be messy and it's going to be all along the side of your face. And you're going to start at the top and work your way down that nose area. You also want to apply bronzer under your lip in order to make it look a little bit fuller. Do turn sideways to find that natural cheekbone right there and that is where you're going to highlight. I'm going to use Sexy Pigment as it has a little bit of shimmer and it's perfect for this part of the highlighting process. You highlight the Cupid's bow, which is this top part. And I'm using Fresh. And do highlight the bridge part of your nose again to have it appear slippery. Don't forget to apply blush. Here I'm using Unique's Blusher in Sweet. Don't forget to use the bronzer on your chin. This is going to give your face more structure and it's going to eliminate the illusion of the double chin. So there you have it. We have the highlight and the contour done pretty quickly here. You see the structure of the face giving me more definition, which is going to make my face look slimmer. Um, when in doubt, you always want to blend it out. That is the key uh, to having any highlight and contouring um, effective on your face. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little quick lesson. Have a great day.